So the Met Ball is one of the most important nights in fashion. And it basically is a night where everybody in the industry, designers, models, actresses, actors, athletes, uh, lots of tech entrepreneurs will be there this year as well. The theme for the Met Ball this year is fashion in the age of technology, which is awesome because those are two of my favorite things in the world, fashion and tech. We're going to Brandon Maxwell's studio right now to do the last fitting for the Met Ball. Brandon Maxwell and I met on a shoot for a music video last year and I fell in love with him. He's really sweet and he's really talented. He really thinks about the woman that he's dressing and, and wants to create something that is unique to her and is gonna make her feel beautiful. So lucky for me, he's making me a gown for the Met Ball. actually make the garment and then recut it on Carly's body because she's extremely tall and there's not a mannequin that's her height. That's the first big moment of the night. So you want to look good on the red carpet, but it's also a seated dinner. So when you're sitting in your beautiful gown, you also have to think about the practicality of sitting at a dinner for a couple hours. Ethan is fearless. He just, if he wants to change the shape of something, if he wants to see it shorter, or he just sits up. When I was starting my first collection, I was talking with Inez and Vinod about who, like, sort of my dream woman would be, and it was Carly. So when it was, I think it took me only five minutes to drape this dress, like, in a room alone by myself, because to me, she's, like, the ultimate supermodel of our generation. So I just wanted her to be sexy and beautiful and tasteful like she is naturally. It's very flattering. It's very sexy. You get a bit of skin, but it's very classic and elegant, and I, and I think it's the mix of Thanks both of our know. approaches. This would be the jacket to leave the hotel because when you're going to the Met, there are as many photographers taking your photo, paparazzi, as, uh, as when you hit the carpet at the Met Ball. Well, it's quite deceiving because I look like a swan on the outside and then I take my jacket off and I feel like a fox on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> big day and the Met Ball's tonight in T minus two and a half hours and we are in the Mark Hotel. My dress is in the corner. In case I spill something on my dress, there's a backup also in the corner. And it's a really special day and I feel like Cinderella. Do you think a red lips right? Um, we can do red, we can do also, I have like any color lip, we can, it's up to you guys. Um, mm -hmm. so. Yay! Mm -hmm. Awesome! Yay! This is my dear friend Sir John, who is a brilliant makeup artist, and who I'm very lucky to have make me up for tonight in the Met Ball. What do you want to do today? So today it's going to be about brows, it's going to be about lifting and sculpting in terms of liner, but I think the punctuation is going to come in form of color, possibly mm. on the lips. right now. I hope those lenses are shatterproof because it is going down the red carpet with this number.
Amazing. Hopefully I haven't messed up the dress Ooh, yet. Geez, it looks awesome. amazing. And oh, now we're going to get makeup, <laughs> no, hair. It's chaos. Lots going on. I like the side Me just too. because everything is I love so the side. centered. Yeah, I agree. And uh, so now I'm in the hair chair with the one and only Frankie Foy and she is on point today. Yes. I thought it's got to be slick, it's got to be built, it's got to flatter your face. All the lines were centered, so I thought a side part would like throw them off a little bit at the top. Blush brush. Lock that part. I love you, but I'm so white. I yeah. don't don't touch me. I'm like sweating and <laughs> nauseous and everything. So <laughs> thank you for making me Have feel like Cinderella. I feel like the belle of the ball. So I feel like I'm living in a dream. This is it. Hair, makeup, nails, gala, gown, everything's ready. Now it's time yeah. to hit the ground.